गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई हैव टेकन फ्रॉम लीनियर कॉन्ट्रास्ट स्ट्रेचिंग सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन एन इनपुट इमेज इज गिवेन एंड फॉर दिस इनपुट इमेज वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द हिस्टोग्राम स्ट्रेचिंग और लीनियर कॉन्ट्रास्ट स्ट्रेचिंग सो इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोसीड सो इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोसीड फॉर लीनियर कॉन्ट्रास्ट स्ट्रेचिंग वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ आर मीन द वैल्यू ऑफ आर मैक्स द वैल्यू ऑफ एस मीन एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एस मैक्स सो लुक एट दिस इमेज इट्स अ एट क्रॉस एट इमेज एंड फॉर दिस एट क्रॉस एट इमेज फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द मिनिमम ग्रे लेवल एंड द मैक्सिमम ग्रे लेवल सो इन दिस इमेज द मिनिमम ग्रे लेवल इज टू एंड द मैक्सिमम ग्रे लेवल इज फाइव सो द वैल्यू ऑफ आर मीन इज इक्वल टू टू and the value of r max it is equals to 5 r mean that is the minimum gray level in the input image so in this input image the minimum gray level is 2 and r max that is the maximum gray level in the input image and in this input image the maximum gray level is 5 and hence r mean is equals to 2 and r max equals to 5 now we have to stretch this image to a new gray scale range and it is given the minimum gray scale range it is 5 So S mean is equals to five, and the maximum gray level it is fourteen. So the value of S max is fourteen. Okay, and in my previous lectures already I have uh, already I have discussed this formula for linear contrast stretching or for histogram stretching. It is S equals to S max minus S mean divided by R max. Minus R mean multiplied with R minus R mean plus S mean. Okay, so in this equation, we will substitute the value of S max, S mean, R max, and R mean, and we have to determine the equation of S in terms of R. So S max minus S mean, the value of X max is 14. The value of S mean is 5. So S max minus S mean is equals to 14 minus 5 divided by R max minus R mean. The value of R max is 5. The value of R mean is 2. So R max minus R mean is becomes 5 minus 2 multiplied with R minus R mean. so the value of r mean is 2 so i will write here r minus 2 plus s mean the value of s mean is 5 so on simplification this becomes 14 minus 5 that becomes 9 5 minus 2 it becomes 3 and this is r minus 2 plus 5 on further simplification S equals to nine by three. R minus two plus five. On further simplification, it becomes three into R minus two plus five. That is equals to three R minus one, where R varies from two to five. Where R varies from R mean equals to two. To R max equals to five, and hence R varies from two to five. And now the next, we will determine the value of S for each value of R. So first, we will determine the value of S for R is equals to two. So for R equals to two, the equation of S in place of this R, I will substitute two. So it becomes three into two minus one. It becomes equals to five. Next, we will determine the value of S for R is equals to three. So, for R is equals to three, equation of S in place of this R, I will substitute three. So, it becomes equals to three into three minus one. That it becomes eight. Next, we will determine the value of S for R is equals to four. So, for R equals to four. Equation of S it becomes equals to three into in place of this R I will substitute four three into four minus one it becomes equals to eleven and lastly for R is equals to five 
the equation of s it becomes equals to in place of r i will substitute 5 so it is 3 into 5 minus 1 that is equals to 14 okay so now we have to draw the output image the dimension of the input image it is 8 cross 8 so the dimension of the output image should be also 8 cross 8 so here i will make an output image the dimension it is 8 cross 8 So now look at this conversion in the input image. In the input image, if R is equal to 2, in the output image, it is assigned to a new value that is equal to 5. So in the input, so in the input image, so in the input image, if the input uh, gray label is equal to 2, in the output image, it will assign to a new gray label that is equals to 5 in the output image so wherever in the input image the input gray level is equals to 2 in the output image we have to assign with a new gray level that is equals to 5 or you can proceed in this manner or you can proceed in this manner the outer boundary the outer boundary uh, the outermost cell it in it having the gray level is equals to 3 and after performing the contrast stretching if the input image it having the gray level is equals to 3 in the output image you have to assign with a new gray level that is equals to 8 so in the input image wherever you are observing the input gray level is equals to 3 in the output image you have to map with the output gray level that is equals to 8 next in the input image the next uh, the next layer it is the input uh, gray level that is equals to 4 so after performing after performing the contrast stretching if the input gray level is equals to 4 in the output image you have to map with a new gray level that is equals to 11 so here i will write 11 next in the input image the next layer it is with the input gray layer it is equals to 2 so after performing the contrast stretching if the if, if in the input image if the input gray level is equals to 2 in the output image you have to map with a new gray level that is equals to 5 so i will write here 5 
and lastly in the input image this innermost cell it having the input gray level is equals to 5 so after performing the contrast stretching if in the input image the input gray level is equals to 5 in the output image you have to map with a new gray level that is equals to 14 so this is my output image after performing the linear contrast stretching